quotation is basically using the exact words from a source. So a source being so what someone else has said, right? So we want, so if, if uh, so yeah, so I'm using their exact phrasing, their exact words. If I want to take their idea and just say, and put it in my own words, I'm more or less doing a, a paraphrase, right? If I want to take kind of the, kind of the, the um, if I want to talk about what they've said kind of in a broader sense, um, and talk about maybe more than just like a single quotation, more than just a single statistic, but I really want to talk about maybe a whole essay or something that I'm really doing summarizing. When you're writing in an academic environment, there are certain conventions that you need to learn. And guess what? When you get out to the so-called real world and get a job, your employer is going to expect you to follow certain rules and certain procedures and do things in a, a particular way as well. So this is good practice for that. As far as uh, quoting, yes, if you use exact words, put them in quotation marks because that differentiates your words from your source words. If you don't put them in quotation marks, you're essentially saying you wrote everything in that paper. And if we, we look uh, and we find that you didn't, then guess what? That's plagiarism. If you're out there writing in the professional world or you're out there writing kind of personal, personally, um, I, I still really think it's a good idea to cite you know, those, those things when you use them from somewhere else. But yeah, if you're talking about changing a tire, um, you're not going to need to be making any kind of citations for that. Um, but it really, the assignment will, will generally dictate that. So the assignment will say, you'll write about this particular topic or write or, or choose a topic um, and then use at least three sources. So and then you're, then you're, you're needing to use sources. But then that goes back into the topic selection thing. If you want to write about changing a tire and that's your source, but, or and that's, and that's your topic, but you need sources, that might not be a good topic. So you might want to think of a broader topic. One of the things that I, I try to tell students is uh, make your quotations interesting. Uh, what a lot of students do is they'll go to a source and they'll quote, uh, such and such source says 75% of blah, blah, blah. If, if you're just using statistics, you can summarize that. And it's probably better if you do because that shows that you understood them. Uh, quote, quotes should be interesting, they should be unique, they should be memorable, they should have something, add something to the, the paper that isn't already there. Uh, they should add color to it, if you will. To give you an example, I, I don't know if I can think of one off the top of my head, but uh, look, look for that memorable phrase that, that just adds a little something extra to that paragraph. And make your quotations brief. Uh, if you have to have a really long quotation, a block quote, limit that to one, maybe two, a paper. Don't just have a paper full of quotes because that, that essentially means that somebody else is making your argument for you. Uh, the quotes should be, most quotes should be one or two uh, lines at, at most.